Here we have a 2023 Corvette Stingray Convertible. This one comes in the 3LT trim level in white pearl metallic tri-coat. And then our interior consists of ceramic white with red stitching perforated leather interior. And the powertrain is gonna be a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine, made it to an eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission, giving us 495 horsepower, 470 pound feet of torque with the optional Z51 package. This car looks absolutely stunning in this white pearl metallic. And we do get LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights. And just can't get enough of this look here. And this one has the forged 20 inch wheels. And this is also a 70th anniversary edition. We have our memory seat controls here. So to set that up, just set the seat, hit set, and then press one of these buttons. And then you have an entry exit mode as well. You get the Bose Performance Series sound system. And then we have our power mirror controls here. Pick a side and then adjust these arrows. Power folding mirrors, blind spot monitors in those. And then we have one touch automatic up and down front windows. And then this knob here, or this lever here, excuse me, you press that down to lower the top, pull it up to raise the top. And then the same thing here with the power rear window. You can lower that and then raise it up by pulling the lever. And power door lock controls are here. We can use this button to automatically open the door or it's like a power function. And then you can use these two buttons down here to open the front trunk and then open the rear trunk. And then if you ever get stuck in the vehicle, you wanna use the manual latch, you just pull up here if you don't have power to your car. And then the heads up display controls are right there. You have a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And then you also have an electronic parking brake. So you just press to engage and then hit the brake, press it again to disengage. And then here is the power driver seat with power lumbar support. I love that look there. Well, let's go ahead and pop that rear trunk. And I'll actually pop the front trunk as well. And we'll make our way to the back. We do have a fuel filler here. Premium is required for this. So you definitely want to use 91 octane or higher for a car like this. So there's a trunk space in there. We do get a little netted cargo tray as well. And now to actually see in the engine bay, it's a bit of work to get back there with the convertible, but there's the rear end there, that Z51 exhaust. Incredible sound there. LED tail lights. Love the spoiler too. Now this does have quite a few add-ons. So I'm gonna show you all the window sticker momentarily. But here's the front passenger seat. We get power as well as power lumbar support. And then Open your glove box here, and then I'm gonna take a quick look at this sticker, and y'all can pause anywhere you need to to look more into anything. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this car today. And if you're in the market for one, I'll definitely leave a link below to this one in the description. It is bright out this morning, but Sticker right at 106855. So like I said, look at that. $22,310 in options. But yeah, this one was fully, fully loaded. And this one still has the owner's manuals there as well. And there's the front trunk there if you want to put a small golf bag or something in there. There's a release. There's actually a 12 volt up here as well. And another cargo tray that's netted. And then over here, pretty much all you'll need to worry about is putting in your windshield wiper fluid. So I definitely don't recommend serving this, servicing this anywhere but a certified Corvette service shop. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat here. So we do get this nice sport flat bottom steering wheel, which you either love it or hate it, but I actually do like it for driving. 
Now over here, I believe this is an eight inch screen. We get AM, FM, XM radio, along with Bluetooth audio. We have Spotify and Amazon Alexa as well. If you have those subscriptions, then we also get wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, navigation system here. You can type in recent. If you ever need fuel, you can pick what brand you like the best. I like to go to Shell or Exxon. So you can actually just scroll through here and it'll show you the closest stations and how far they are. And then we have a Wi-Fi hotspot. If you ever need to get in your vehicle settings, you can manage your connections for Bluetooth there where it says phones. And then over here in your apps, you can update all of that if you ever need to. And then you have your vehicle settings. So buckle to drive. So it'll make sure that you have your seatbelt on before it lets you put the car into gear. You can adjust ride height. You have team driver with this as well and a valet mode if you ever wanna use that. And then we do have the performance data recorder here. So you hook up an SD card reader and then you can record your laps, track your times, all of that. And then we do get dual zone automatic climate control. So we can adjust either here or you have all these buttons down here and you have a readout over here so it shows 74 degrees for the passenger. Then we have it on low for the driver. You can adjust that here. And then you have three stage heated cooled seats. You can sync, have it set to auto and then all of your fan directions or where the airflow is coming from. You can adjust that here and then fan speed here. And you can actually cut the whole system off, AC, defrost. And then you have the heated cool buttons for the front passenger. So I can use the screen. I love using the screen. It's actually pretty easy to use or you can use the buttons. It's just hard for me, unless you know where everything is, to use the buttons. It's just easier to use the screen. Now pulling up the backup camera here, you get a really nice high definition picture and then you also have guidelines that follow you as you turn the steering wheel. And you also get a front camera as well. And I love this view because it allows you to make sure you're not about to curb the front and then you have another zoomed in picture as well there. And just several different camera views that you can go through. Down here, traction control buttons. This is to adjust your ride height. So if you're about to hit a curb, you can hit that button and then it'll raise the front end to make sure that you don't hit that front splitter. And then we have the front camera toggle. You can just hit that there if you are. These are what you would use if you're about to pull into a parking lot or something like that. So I really like that. And then your drive modes, you just, turn here and you might be able to hear it just ever so slightly but as I go into sport and track mode the exhaust gets louder and then here in the tour mode and then the my mode it's kind of dialed down and then you also have a weather mode as well and it shows you in the bottom of that gauge cluster which we'll come back to in a minute what mode you're in now for the eight speed you have buttons and levers so you hit P for park pull up here for reverse neutrals there pull up for drive manual modes here and that's where you can use these paddle shifters cup holders here you can stow those and then your center console cubby space you have an sd card reader for the navigation a usb c usb a and aux input so it's nice to have an aux in this vehicle and then we have a rear camera mirror which we can toggle that on and off and then over to the left side of the steering wheel we have our cruise controls and then the Z mode puts you in the, that mode that's set up there. So it's pretty sporty, I actually enjoy it. I'll use that on the test drive as well. And then you can toggle your radio station favorites or track list controls here. Sorry if the glare is not showing it, but it'll show you on the screen as well what you're doing. And then volume controls are here so you can toggle that up and down below here. Now interesting setup. They had to put room for the heated steering wheel somewhere, so they put it right here above the voice recognition controls. And then this serves as the mute button as well. And then you can use this and then these two arrows here to go through your digital gauge cluster. So you can go through all of that here. You got zero to 60. You can time that. And then G-force, all of that too. Again, you can really get into this too in terms of customizing it for yourself. And then we have our headlamp controls here. There's your auto mode. High beams are there. You can flash them there. 
blinkers, and then you have your right side stalk here. So windshield wiper controls, you can adjust your intermittent here, and then you can pull up for the front wiper fluid, and then you can adjust, there's one time, intermittent low, and then high for your windshield wipers. And then the heads up display is right in there as I adjust the brightness. I'm gonna zoom in. So there is that, and you have different info pages as well. So it'll show you different views. And then here we have our push button start. And finally, here is our key fob with remote start.